Hey guys, so I wanted to look at uh, code.org lesson three. So lesson three is going to be dealing with headings. So here's the new code you're going to be learning. There are six different heading tags, H1 to H6, and the size headings are based on the number. So the H1 tag is the largest font size, and the H6 is the smallest font size. It's even smaller than a paragraph tag. So you're going to have a video here that you're going to need to watch. I'm going to skip that video for now, but you need to go back to it and watch it. Remember that definitions and explanations are up on the right in a pull in pull down menus. And remember that anything that is a circle at the top is going to have a do this, which means it's something you need to do. So it says work with the partner to fix the HTML bugs so that none of the code is pink. So I'm going to do version history because I've already fixed this, but you can always start over by clicking on version history and start over and it'll take you back to the beginning. Sometimes it's easier to start over on a page than to keep trying to troubleshoot if you've made a lot of changes and it's hard to figure out um, what changes you've made. So you can see that the P is pink and body and HTML are pink. So the first thing you need to do is start pairing up your code. So your top HTML is okay and you have a bottom close HTML. So your open and close HTML are fine. You have an open and a close head tag. Those are fine. You have an open body tag with an open and a close bracket. You have a close body tag with an open and close bracket and a forward slash. Those are fine. So now it's time to start reading line for line. So if you look at line six, the open and close paragraph tags are intact. Line seven, open and close paragraph tags are intact. Line eight, open and close paragraph tags are intact. But line nine, we have a close paragraph tag. We're missing the open paragraph tag. So I'm gonna click at the beginning of the line, put an open bracket, a P, close the bracket. And now look, all of the pink went away. So now we're done with this one. You can either click the finish, bo finish button at the bottom or you can click refresh and save to save your work. So this one it says find the headings in the web page <clears throat> using the inspector tool. So I'm going to turn on the inspector tool and if I roll over a heading it shows me the code for it. I'm going to turn that off. So now we want to change drawing in two years to match the headings on the rest of the page. So if we look down here, drawing should have the same code on it as baking and soccer. So when we look over here, soccer and baking are H2s. So I'm gonna change drawing to an H2. And now drawing looks the same as baking and soccer. We wanna change two years to match 10 years and five years. So I'm going to change this to an H4. And then refresh and save. And then finish because we're done. So the next one is asking us to put the headings in order from biggest to smallest. The text says the correct size. So the biggest heading should be an H1. So we're going to change this to a 1. Make sure your beginning and end tags match. The next size should be an H2. Next should be an H3. H4. H5 is correct, and then an H6.
and that's complete. So I'm going to select finish. Okay, so we want eggs to be the smallest, bacon the largest, I'm sorry, waffles the smallest, eggs medium, and bacon to be the largest. So these are the two that bacon is the largest. Waffles is smaller than eggs here, so this would be the correct answer. You also need to watch this short video. You're going to choose an activity here and complete it. And this is where you're going to add code for the entire page to match what you did on part four. So notice over here it just looks like um, a paragraph but they want it to be formatted in a similar way to the one that had baking and um, drawing on it. So we're going to make My Pets an H1. Every paragraph should have a paragraph tag. And then Lula is a subheading. We're going to make that an H2. Remember, any tag that you open, you must also close. And then we're going to make dog smaller. We're going to make it an H4. <clears throat> now, I can make this simple because we're going to do the same codes all the way down. So I can actually copy the paragraph tag, control C to copy, and then at the beginning of each paragraph, control V, control V, and control V. Now remember, anytime I open a tag, I have to close it. So I'm going to also copy the close paragraph tag, control C, control V, control V, control V. Now I'm going to copy my open H2 tag and make slowpoke and hamster H2s. To close my copy my close H2 tag anytime you open a tag you must remember to close it now my H4 tags turtle and fish And I need to put my close H4 tags. Okay, now it is formatted correctly. And I can refresh and save and finish. And the last is to select your own activity. So that's all for lesson three.